ओके गाइस सो वेलकम टू कुमार कंसल्टिंग एंड दिस इज आवर फर्स्ट सेशन सो विल स्टार्ट दिस इज द फर्स्ट क्लास सो हियर विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम इंट्रोडक्शंस इंट्रोडक्शंस अबाउट दिस एसएपी सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हिच विल कम इन योर माइंड और व्हिच विल कम इन एवरीबॉडीज हुएवर इज न्यू टू दिस एसएपी so the first question is coming in your mind is what is sap and we should know if you are planning to do certain things so first of all you should know about that things that what is this sap what is this oracle if you are going to do any other java dot net lots of courses are there so here we will talk about sap so the first question is what is sap now look at the next slide what the next slide says so here the next slide says systems applications and product in data processing so now here this systems applications and product in data processing is not a perfect answer why because this is just the full form of sap this is just a full form of sap so the question is still remain now so here is the answer SAP is nothing but an ERP. SAP, SAP is an ERP. But again, now we are having another confusion that what is this ERP then? Because if you are able to understand ERP, then only you can understand SAP. If somebody is asking what is SAP, you have replied it's an ERP. But if we don't know what is this ERP, then again the definition is incomplete so now we'll know about erp once we come to know about erp then what will happen automatically we can understand what is this sap now so the question is what is erp and here is the answer so now the answer is hidden in the full form of erp erp stand for enterprise resources planning this is the full form of erp now if we break this like let's suppose enterprise separately resources separately and planning separately then we will get our answer so what will happen here let's suppose enterprise means enterprise means whichever organizations are there that is called enterprise now second one is resources so what are the resources in any organization so in every organization this man money material and machines these are the resources of an organizations these are the resources of any organizations resources means what are the required elements are there in order to run an organization so of course employees required it means that is called manpower machines are required to produce certain things and for producing certain things what is happening materials are also required and money is also required to run this so these are the major four elements which is required to run uh, an organization so which is why what what is the you know what are the resources to run any organizations so this is called 4m 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 means man money material and machines so now as i said like enterprise means an organizations and what are the resources in any organizations so it is man money material and machines now and planning planning about what planning about the optimum utilization planning about the optimum utilization means maximum utilization maximum utilization of what maximum utilization of resources maximum utilization of resources resources of what resources of an enterprise enterprise means an organization so the most simple simplest definition of an erp is it's a tool or software tools if it is going to be confusing so here i'll just make it like it's a software now it will be easy for you guys to understand it's a software which helps an organization to do optimum utilization of its resources okay optimum utilization means maximum utilization of resources 
uh, it's SAP, sorry, ERP is nothing but a software which helps an organization to do maximum utilization of its resources. Okay. And what are the, what are the resources? Resources are money, man, material, and machines. These are the four resources. So now the question is here that how ERP is going to help any organization to use their resources or how ERP is going to help any organization to do maximum utilization of its resources. So I think it's like ERP is a software. So what is this SAP guys? This is also a kind of software. SAP as we said like SAP is an ERP and ERP is a software. So what is SAP? SAP is also a kind of software. I'll tell you guys the most in most simplest way. Uh, just think about some 20, 25 years back or 30 years back. Uh, just take example of our uh, whatever the banks are there. Whichever banks are there. So 40 years back, 30 years back, what used to happen? In every bank, they used to maintain registers, books, lots of things and passbook, uh, you know, what to say, system was there in those days. And now since we are moving towards this digitalized digitalizations and also almost these, these all things are gone. But earlier, 20, 30 years back, this passbook, passbook system was there. Uh, banks used to maintain the registers or books or lots of things. Okay, computers were very less. It was being used some 30 years back. So now, what was the disadvantage? The disadvantage was like huge number of employee, huge number of resources were required in those days. Okay, in order to perform, let's suppose uh, what is happening. Let's suppose you went to your bank and you forgot in your passbook. So what will happen? Now, if you want to do any sort of transactions, if you want to, even if you are the premium uh, customer of the banks also, still, if you want to do any sort of transaction, then what will happen? First of all, they have to identify your bank account number. Now, how they are going to identify your bank account number, guys? So they will, now they will ask you like, okay, sir, you let me know in which year your account was opened. They will say, okay, it was opened 10 years back. So they will give you a perfect uh, uh, exact year name. Okay, it was open in 1991. Then they will say, okay, let me know if you are able to remember the month and all. So it might be July or August. I'm not, you know, basically able to remember, but it could be July or August. But even in July or August also, there are lots of accounts were open in those, you know, in those months for that particular bank. Now what will happen con continuously one or two or three employees will keep on uh, searching out the registers and all to find out his name and uh, all the details and all it might take a completely one day also it might take half day also isn't it so how the things was difficult in those days because we were maintaining the you know all these registers and all and manually each and everything were happening but nowadays every banks are using computers and in that certain softwares are be being used Every banks are using certain software, a particular software. That software is called ERP. And what is the benefit? Now, let's suppose today also, in nowadays also, if you go to bank and if you forgotten your detail and if you forgotten your account number and if you go to their, uh, whoever the customer relations uh, manager will be there somewhere or, or reception counters will be there. And if you disclose even a single details, they are going to give you all your uh, entire details will be there on their screen. In the sense, they'll say, sir, can you disclose your email ID? With that itself, they'll get to know entire details. If you disclose your contact number, with that also, they are going to get your entire details. If you disclose your uh, name and date of birth, with that also, they are going to find out all the details. Even if you disclose your PAN card number, with that also, they are going to get all the details. If you have linked your Aadhaar card uh, with your bank account, with that. So now it is, what is happening within a second, the moment you disclose your any of this identity within a second people there will be a guy who is going to find out all the details how it is going to happen guys it is going to happen because of this erp itself okay so as i said like erp is going to helps an organization to do optimum utilization of resources optimum utilization of resources of course it is happening i've given an example that 30 years back completely 
uh, it is going to take one uh, day completely to find out a particular details now what is happening within a second we are going to find out isn't it so here a uh, one employee completely has given one day and now the same employee is going to give hardly uh, he is going to spend or she is going to spend 30 30 second and 20 seconds in that they are going to get all these details i'll give one more a uh, very uh, you know easy example here and this will be like uh, i'll give an example of a manufacturing organization so this is let's suppose we are having several manufacturing organizations are there and just quoting an uh, example of tata motor so now whichever organizations are there if you talk at broader level then every organization will have four department minimum apart from this there are lots of other departments also but i have just kept example of only I've written only four departments. These are the major, uh, what to say, uh, department of any organizations. So that is called sales department, purchase department, finance and account department, and human resource department. That is called HR department. Take example of any 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 department. Example of any department. Say for example, I have taken an example of an example of sales department. Now, in sales department. Just assume 30 years back, what used to happen? 30 years back or 40 years back when the like uh, computer was not much prevalent in the market and uh, every organization, as I said, like 30, 40 years or 50 years back, they used to uh, maintain like uh, books or registers. So here in companies also what will happen? They used to maintain several different, different kind of registers. Now, since I have taken example of sales department. Now this sales department is having total. I'm talking about their backing, uh, back end, uh, what to say this one office. Okay. Sales department means not a uh, back end part means, uh, the people who is sitting in the office and walking. Okay. There are certain, like if, if you're the part of a uh, marketing team, then what will happen? You have to roam in the market. I'm talking about the sales department back end team. So they are having. Okay, they are having like let's suppose total 50 number of employees. 50 number of employees are there in their sales department. Now, this 50 number of employees, what exactly they are doing for Tata Motor? So, since Tata Motor is a very big organization, it's a very large organization. So, what will happen? They'll be having huge number of customers. Huge number of customers. It means huge number of transactions are taking place on daily basis so now what will happen out of 50 employee 25 employee involved for day-to-day -day transactions recording in the sense whichever sales we have made to the customers those need to be recorded somewhere in the sales register let's suppose as i said like i'm talking about 40 50 years back computer is not there okay erp is not there software is not there then how these people are going to manage then they have to maintain the sales register now now they will be having so uh, this let's suppose so huge as i said like huge number of transactions are taking place so tata motor uh, in tata motor like let's suppose in their sales department 50 people are there so out of 50 25 people are involved in recording of day to day transactions what kind of transactions like daily basis, huge number of sales are taking place. So those transactions we have to note it down. It means we have to track it. Okay. That is called customer related invoices. We have to track it. Now, second thing is like, let's suppose certain customers, some of the customers are going to return certain, uh, you know, product. So this customer return, whatever the customer returns are there. Those also, it means we have to reduce the customer uh, balances let's suppose we have sold a goods worth of thousand rupees and customer has returned a goods worth of 300 rupees so how much customer is going to pay us after certain time customer is going to pay us only 700 rupees because 300 worth of goods they have received uh, what to say uh, returned so even those also whatever the return items are there that is also need to be recorded somewhere apart from this after certain time the customers are going to make payments so those payment related transactions are also going to be uh, you know uh, recorded somewhere in certain registers so out of 50 25 people involved in recording day-to-day -day transactions what about remaining 25 remaining 25 people are involved in report preparation 
so guys if you talk about any company their management is very much keen for this uh, what to say reports only they are very much interested in the reports only why because based on those reports they are going to take lots of future actions and future decisions decisions so what will happen managers need a uh, several different different kind of reports let's suppose uh, like what is the sales in in this particular month what is the sales what is quarterly sales what is half yearly sales isn't it such kind of uh, some you know then customer aging report customer aging report is like let's suppose uh, we have whatever the customers are there out of which like 90 percent of the customers has made payment but there are 10 percent of the customers who is not making pay pay payment on time okay so now there are some some of the customers like let's suppose 20 customers are there who has not pay made payment like let's suppose there will be a particular terms whenever we are going to sell goods to any customer there will be a particular uh, you know some payment terms will be negotiated like payment will be made let's suppose in 30 days payment will be made in 30 days so there will be like 90 percent of the customers are going to make payment in 30 days 10 percent of the customers will be there who is not uh, unable to make payment even after crossing this 30 days okay so this is for this we are going to prepare a customer aging report means how many customers are there who has not made payment even after crossing this 30 days in that also like 30 days means after 30 days let's suppose uh, how many customers are there like uh, who has crossed this 30 days so now let's suppose there are total 100 customers out of 100 customers like from 30 days onwards let's suppose there are some customers uh, who has not paid made payment even after three months also there are not so some customer who has not made payment made payment even after six months also there are certain customers who has not made payment even after one year also so these kind of reports management want so that they will decide what kind of future actions we are going to take against those customers isn't it so such kind of reports such kind of several reports required to the management so as i said like 25 people 25 people involved in day-to-day -day transaction posting and remaining 25 people involved in report preparation okay now here what is the advantage of erp guys now if tata motor is going to implement or tata motor is going to use any software any erp let's suppose in their organization then what is the benefit the benefit will be these 25 people are required those who involve in day-to-day -day transaction posting because so these only 25 people are required the remaining 25 people who is who involved in uh, you know report preparation those people are not required why because now this ERP or this software is going to going to give you all the output in the sense desired art output in the sense like all the reports it means reports will be prepared by this ERP automatically automatically the moment we post a transaction in sap what will happen sap is going to prepare the report is going to be updated automatically within a second okay so now what will happen the people this 25 candidates 25 resources who required to prepare this report or report preparations those people are not required so what will happen now tata motor is going to engage these people in a different activity so now look at the differences earlier sales department sales department needed 50 number of employees now what is happening sales department will be able to handle all their activity and their sales department will be able to manage all their uh, transaction related activity with by 25 people only okay remaining this 25 people who involve in report preparations now Tata Motor is going to engage those people in a different activity. So this is how look at here, how you know SAP or, or how ERP is going to help Tata Motor or any such kind of organizations to do optimum or maximum utilization of its resources. Earlier 50 resources were required. Right now the same activity can be performed by 25. So this is how it is ERP is going to help any organizations to do optimum or maximum utilization of its resources okay so uh, this is the example a classic example of this 
ERP, benefit of ERP. Now, what are the leading ERP in the market? Okay, leading ERP in the market. So here, there are few of them I have just given an example of few of them like uh, let's suppose we are having of course SAP is number one there is no doubt at all because it, because it has covered around 70% 70% of the markets here and the second number second one is Oracle Financial itself but right now Oracle Financial is nowhere in front of SAP because it's having around 10 to 12% of the markets here so whichever the competitors are there they're, they're almost nowhere in front of SAP uh, now and apart from this Oracle, JD Edward, Ban, Epicor, PeopleSoft, even Navi Navigen is there, Tally is there and there are several small small ERPs are there in the market, several small small softwares are there in the market. Okay, Some of the ERPs have been developed uh, you know for a particular like industry wise in the sense like for retails somebody has developed certain ERP for all this uh, what to say like let's suppose uh, whatever the medical shops are there or whatever the small small shops are there for that somebody has developed a different software which is going to be helpful so these are there are, these all will be treated as a ERP itself but for a small organizations so now what is happening there are several ERP in the market out of which few uh, name I have written here okay SAP, Oracle, Epicor, PeopleSoft, Navision, Tally these all are the ERPs only now if you talk about SAP, then what will happen in SAP? What we are going to do, we are going to learn this SAP itself. But SAP, it doesn't mean that you are going to learn entire SAP. SAP is just like ocean. Okay. SAP is not a small thing. So what is happening now? SAP has been segregated in different, different modules. Okay. SAP is going to be segregated in different different modules now so what are those modules in SAP guys what are the modules available in SAP so now here if you talk about modules in SAP then at broader level it is going to divide divided into two part at broader level it is going to be divided into two part the first one is called functional module and second one is called technical module first one is called functional module and second one is called technical module so now here what is this functional module and what is this technical module guys so functional module means the module like let's suppose you guys are going to do FICO finance module okay so this FICO is called functional module technical module means a BAP basis now the what is the difference between functional and technical you guys will come to know later because once we start the practical sessions i'll explain certain things like uh, development related activities and all then, then at that point of time you guys will be having a clear understanding what is the exact difference between functional consultant and technical consultant and once we start the uh, configuration part in the sense once we start the practical session then you'll come to know what is your activity and what are, what kind of activities are going to be performed by technical consultant okay so now here i'm talking about functional modules so what are the modules comes under functional module and which are the modules comes under technical module i'll just give a brief explanation here now so let's suppose uh, we are having like there are several modules which is the part of functional module look at here fi means finance then controlling material management, sales and distribution, human resource. Apart from this also, we are having several other modules like project project system is there, production planning is there, quality management is there. So these all are the module which comes under functional module. Now, if you talk about technical module, then we are having right now a BAP and basis. These are the uh, you know most popular module in technical module. And you guys, once you become consultant, you'll come to know and these people also will be sitting at the almost same floor along with this functional consultant so here once i start the uh, practical session then you guys will come to know the differences between functional consultant and technical consultant it means what is your activity you'll come to know and what is the activity what activity belongs to these people ABAP consultant and basis consultant what exactly uh, 
what what kind of things are being performed by these guys so these all will be you guys will be able to understand once we start the practical session now so guys this is a kind of introduction which i have given about sap now let's suppose once you become sap consultant then what will happen once you become sap consultant then you guys are going to be assigned certain activity certain task okay it means you have to perform certain activity you have to you have, you'll be assigned certain task you need to perform those things now what are those tasks or activities whatever the activities or task is going to be assigned that is called project it means you guys are going to be part going to be part of a project if like let's suppose few of uh, few of the you uh, you know like you people out of like these all people few of you are uh, the part of bpu if somebody is working in bpu and kpu then what will happen you guys are going to serve a particular client it means you are working on a project that project belongs to a client now the question is how many types of projects are there in sap okay how many types of projects are there in sap so now here this is the question sap projects and its types now here look at here how many types of projects are there so guys we are having total four types of projects sometimes people are saying five types of projects also they will say like uh, some enhancement okay but majorly it's four type itself here like uh, you know already it is visible on your screen you have to say four types only okay now here and what is this uh, project project is a task or assignment okay whenever you joined like hr will come they will greet you hi xyz welcome on board and today is our uh, you know like induction classes and all after that induction sessions they are going to let's suppose explain or they will let you know like hi you are the part of so and so project okay you are the part of abc project abc project means that is the name of your client let's suppose we are having adidas okay so adidas is a very huge company they are using sap so now what will happen so adidas project is going to be handled let's suppose by wipro technology or infosys if you join infosys then what will happen infosys hr will say that you are going to be part of adidas project and it's an implementation project the nature of project is an implementation project or it could be roll out or it could, could be upgrade or it could be support okay so these are the major four types of projects are there so we need to understand what is this implementation project what is the meaning of roll out project what is the meaning of upgrade project what is the meaning of support project and what kind of activity we are going to perform okay so here since it is a theoretical session first of all i'll have to give a complete picture a complete understanding theoretically and once we start the practical session everything is going to be easy guys just one by one step by step you have to follow so now here once you join people will say that you are going to be part of so and so project and the nature of project is implementation or roll out or upgrade or support so first of all we need to understand what is this implementation project or what kind of activities are going to happen in this implementation project what is roll out what is upgrade and what is support so we'll explain one by one we'll explain one by one we'll start from implementation project itself so since here i have given the example of tata motor initially now just take a, take an example of this tata motor itself look at here now i'm talking about implementation project let's suppose tata motor is using a different erp tata motor is using a different erp that erp is called tally okay this erp is called tally so now tally is a very small erp guys but uh, tata motor is a very huge organization so initially let's suppose it was okay but now what is happening since they have expanded their business a lot their uh, number of employees also become like too much and apart from this their management uh, will have huge number of 
or or their expectation is to uh, in terms of reports will be like it's it's like they're always seeking for a different different types of reports so now what will happen uh it's it's difficult to get such kind of exclusive report from tallies and also what will happen these people will plan to move or switch for a different erp right now they are using tally now they have they, they thought like okay why not to go for some bigger platform because now our expectation has increased and we need several different different kind of you know reports and all and tally is not able to meet our requirement okay so now what will happen these people will do some research they will do some r d and now their management have decided that better to go for sap which is one of the leading erp in the market so now tata motor is planning to go for sap so now here since tata motor is using tally and sap is going to be installed this is the first time so first time installation of sap in any organization is called implementation project guys if somebody says that you are the part of implementation project it means first time sap installation is going to happen in that organization now this sap installation is not your part after installation of sap you have to perform lots of activities that is your your what to say uh, what to say activities that is your task that is your work what are those activities guys once we start the practical session then i will let you know what are those activities one by one step by step here theoretically i'm just trying to clarify and trying to make you people understand that if somebody says what do you mean by implementation implementation means implementation the first time installation of sap in any organization is called implementation project now here again implementation also can be segregated in two part guys uh this is a question has been asked only once uh you know it was asked by somebody this is very unique uh but might be if somebody asked these things then you're supposed to reply i think thousands out of thousands might be one or two people will be able to explain this so here they will ask like implementation can be divided into two part so first one is called greenfield implementation and then there will be brownfield implementation let's suppose okay so now here we are having implementation is going to be segregated in two part greenfield implementation and brownfield implementation so what is this this brownfield implementation first of all i'll explain guys okay brownfield implementation means let's suppose tata motor is using this tally from tally what is happening from tally we are going to tally is going to be replaced by sap okay tally is going to be replaced by sap so here it means some existing erps are there existing erps are there okay so wherever the existing erps are there those project is called brownfield implementation brownfield means already one existing erp is there we have to replace that erp with sap greenfield implementation means let's suppose tata motor is a totally new organization which is going to be constructed or which is going to be built say for example we are having like this tata motor or tata motor is totally new uh, setup it's it's going to tata group has decided that we are going to enter in uh, let's suppose now uh, into four wheeler manufacturing so they decided that organization name is tata motor so what will happen their plant constructions will be happening somewhere the construction is going on they are going to build up this plant at uh, somewhere some corporate office constructions is also going on isn't it at the same time once this plant construction is going to be over once this corporate office construction is going to be over and let's suppose the hiring is also going on for the employees who is going to work who is going to be the part of tata motor so once these all things are finished once these all things are over then how they are going to work they need certain software also they need certain erps also right 
and ERP installation or software installation, it doesn't mean that it's going to be completed in one, one day itself. Guys, implementation takes lots of time. It takes seven months also, eight months also, 10 months also, one year also, depends upon the size of the organization. So what will happen? Greenfield implementation means totally new in the sense like organization const plant construction is also going to happen. It means totally new setup is going to happen. Their corporate office is also being you know constructed at the same time this SAP implementation is also it's it's keep on going on so that what will happen if certain deadline is there let's suppose on so and so particular date we are going to inaugurate this plant we are going to it means like plant will become functional and uh, then production will be started then what will happen if the production is started it means wherever the wherever the corporate office is there there also employees keep on working they started you know uh, what to say recordings under transactions and all certain transactions recording also will be started so here what will happen one erp is required to handle these kind of activities so sap implementation is also going to be simultaneously it will keep on going and that particular day what will happen our implementation is going to be finished and these people will be able to use this sap so i'll i'll just give one more later on also i'll i'll just you know explain this once I cover the all project, then also I'll just explain the difference between greenfield and brownfield. So now guys, implementation. Implementation project means first time installation of SAP in any organization is called implementation project. If somebody says like you are going to be part of implementation project means you have to assume that in that organization certain different ERPs are there. Now what will happen? You guys has to replace that ERP by SAP. It means we are going to install this SAP over there. And apart from this installation will be done by basis consultant generally. You guys are going to do the configurations. As per the client requirement, we have to do the configurations. Now the question is, what is this configuration? How we have to do this configurations and all? So these all questions will be solved and resolved once we start the practical session. Once the practical session is going to be started, then we have to start it from configuration itself. Several configurations we have to do. So you guys are going to be perfect in terms of configurations. Don't worry because the practical session has not started yet. First of all, uh, you know, certain theoretical topics are there. Once it is finished, then only the practical session will be started. So this is all about uh, implementation project. First time installation in any organization called implementation project. And that's what here I have specified in the definition like fresh or first time installation of SAP in any organization is called implementation project. Now, the entire implementation project is further segregated in five phases. This will be discussed later. It means in from next class onwards, those things are going to be discussed. What are those phases and what is the need of segregate this you know, project in five phases? So that will be discussed later. Now, the next one is called a rollout project. The second project is called a rollout project. So what is this rollout project, guys? Now, say for example, Tata Motor, Tata Motor is the part of Tata Group. Tata Motor is the part of Tata Group. So now here, that Tata Group has decided that, okay, we'll do one thing. Now we are going to replace this tally with a bigger, you know, like some very bigger platform in the sense SAP. So here Tata Motor has, like Tata Group has decided to implement this SAP. So they have decided that why not to uh, do this implementation or why not to get this installation in one subsidiary and we'll check the performance. We'll absorb the performance for a certain period. And if it is going to be meet, if, if it is going to meet our expectation, then the same will be installed in other subsidiaries also. Okay. So now let's suppose here. So that's what. Tata Group has invited certain IT companies. It could be Wipro, Infosys, TCS, any IT companies. Several, you know, IT companies are there. So they can invite anybody. They have invited some IT companies for this implementation. So first time what is happening at group level also and at subsidiary level also, the first time installation has taken place for Tata Motor. So that is why this Tata Motor project is going to be treated as an implementation project. But under same group, 
for a different subsidiary for Tata Steel we are going to do the same implementation in the sense same installation okay the same installation is going to happen second time for a different subsidiary that is called a roll out project that is called a roll out project guys okay roll out project means in the same organizations if we do certain uh, what to say uh, this sap inst installations for a different subsidiary then what will happen the same this this project will be treated as a rollout project okay now here i'll give you the simplest definition here what is called this rollout project so now here rollout project means if a company already implemented sap for one subsidiary i've given example like let's suppose tata motor so if a company already implemented sap for one subsidiary and want to set up the same for a different subsidiary is called a rollout project okay same thing if a company already implemented sap in uh, one subsidiary and want to set up the same for a different subsidiary means rollout project so if somebody says that hi guys you guys hi you guys are going to be part of rollout project it means you have to say that in that particular organization for their other subsidiaries like few of the subsidiaries are already having sap it means sap already got implemented for few of the subsidiaries now they are looking for the same for a different subsidiary okay so here what is happening the number of activities are going to be reduced okay here what will happen the number of activities are going to be reduced okay uh, during implementation what will happen during implementation let's suppose if you have to perform 100% of the activities during rollout we are going to perform only 70% of the activity or 60% of the activities okay now this what what kind of you know what is the major differences between implementation and uh, rollout project that will also you guys will be able to understand uh, during practical session okay during practical you guys will come to know later that what are the activities will be performed uh, you know like what is the major difference between implementation and a rollout project as i said like in implementation we are going to perform 100% of the activities whereas in support we are going to perform hardly 70% of the activity or 60% of the acti activities in the sense 60% or 70% the configuration steps we are going to follow during rollout project 30% we are going to use from the you know already which is done for the previous subsidiaries those settings we are going to use so it will be like uh, you know just theoretically itself practically since we have not started practical so once we start the practical session guys then you are going to be you will be able to understand very well so now here as i said uh, rollout project means rollout project means the same installation of sap for a different subsidiary okay under the same group company but for a different subsidiary okay so that is called a rollout project now look at the next project the next one is called upgrade so upgrade is pretty simple guys upgrade the name itself is telling you the definition here upgrading the version of sap and here everybody are using smartphone now let's suppose you guys are having your uh, let's suppose everybody is are having smartphone you guys are using different different apps so what will happen every after one month every after 20 days you keep on receiving certain kind of notification that update your app so what is this updation guys if you update your apps then what will happen it means every time these all whatever the apps are there whichever like apps are there so that people are going to add some special or new new functionality in those apps so how you guys are going to avail those uh, uh, how you guys are going to avail the benefit of those uh, what to say new functionalities once you update then whatever the recent uh, you know changes they have done you guys are going to those will be going to be 
those you guys can be used use those what to say uh, this one whatever the uh, new functionality has been added so you guys can be able to avail avail the benefit of those things let's suppose <coughs> if you talk about anything like whatsapp is there let's suppose earlier uh, like right now in whatsapp only voice call is there video call is not there now what will happen they have done certain kind of experiment and they brought this video calling also so how you guys are going to avail this you will be getting a notification that update your app once you update then you are going to get this video calling facility in the same way sap is also keep on adding the new new functionality so what will happen the version is going to be changed every after certain time like uh, every year or every after two year or three years some major changes they are going to bring so version will be changed now let's suppose in tata motor we have implemented this sap 10 years back so 10 years back means in 2008 and right now we are in 2018 so what will happen in 2018 means new version came and lots of changes are there so if tata motor want to uh, avail the new functionality whatever the new functionality has been added if they want to use those functionality then they must have to go for upgradations it means upgradation is required now this upgradation cannot be performed by a tata motor employee for that also they need sap consultant and sap consultants are not the part of tata motor because it's a manufacturing organization so where SAP consultant will, be, consultant will be there, they will be the part of some IT company. So once again, they are going to invite certain IT companies. It could be Wipro, Infosys, TCS, Accenture, like 100, you know, IT companies are there or more than that. So they will invite anybody that now you just do, you just come and you just do the upgradations. Okay. It means upgrade from, you know, lower version to higher version. So this is also not a small activity. This is a very big activity. This also takes time. And here also, there'll be involvement of technical consultant, functional consultant, both. You guys has to do the lots of perform. You, you guys like functional consultant has to perform lots of activities. Why lots of activities guys? Let's suppose uh, here, lots of activity in the sense, let's suppose uh, Tata Motor is saying like they're having, let's suppose, in their previous uh, what to say version they are having total uh, 100 you know kind of they are having total let's suppose I'll just let you know guys I'll give an example here okay so now let's suppose in their previous version they are able to perform 10 different kind of activity and in new version in new version SAP says like in new version SAP says that five additional five additional activities will be there okay so five additional activity will be there. So what will happen during upgradations? Once the upgradation completed, then we have to perform testing also. We have to test it. What we are going to test? So we have to check like any at any cost, this 10 activity which was there in earlier previous version, it, it means at old version, so those we have to deliver. And apart from this, the new five activities which we have explained, those also we have to test. It means we have to perform we have to test this 15 total different kind of activity all this activities and all we have to test that first of all whatever the 10 activities belongs to the older version that we have to deliver and apart from this the new five activities are there in this newer version that also we have to deliver so this testing will be performed by you guys only so now uh, in a simplest way i'll not go in that much details right now because we are in theoretically explanations is going on so here in upgrade project what is happening we are going to upgrade the version and always it will be lower version to higher version itself now we are having now we are having so here look, look at here the definition will be definition of upgrade project is shifting from one version to one version of sap to other in upgrade project what is happening we always shift from lower version to higher version now we are having the last one the last one is support project 
So what is this support project guys? Support project means post implementation, post implementation, all SAP related, whatever the maintenance or errors activities are there that comes under support project. Here consultant just received the ticket. Tickets means errors. Okay. Solve them, solve them and send that, send them back to the client. So the meaning is like, let's suppose we have implemented this SAP for Tata Motor. We have implemented this SAP for Tata Motor. Now what will happen? So after implementation, it doesn't mean that Tata Motor will be able to handle this SAP independently. No, after implementation also, they won't be able to handle this SAP independently because it's a technical things. Now what will happen? So once they started using, even after that also, they'll be having lots of issues they can face sometime since I said like it's a technical thing, uh, thing or, or it's, it's a software. So there might be a chances that they are going to receive certain errors. They'll be, you know, having certain problems, certain errors will be taking place. So who is going to resolve these things? These will be resolved by consultants only. So in order to, in order to have the smooth processing or process in order to run this SAP smoothly, they need the assistance of SAP consultant even after installation of this SAP also. It means even after implementation also, they need the assistance of SAP consultant. Okay. So what is happening? It means we have to support them. We are going to give a support after implementation. Tata Motor once again is going to approach to this IT companies and they will say that, okay, implementation is done. You have in installed this SAP. Very nice. We are, our uh, employees are going to walk out. But what about if they are going to face any issues, if they are going to face any uh, error or if they have some requirements, isn't it? So who is going to, uh, uh, you know, meet their requirement? Who is going to solve these issues and errors? So for that also they required SAP consultant. So their Tata Motor once again is going to have a kind of tie up with again certain IT companies and all. And they will say that now you give us support. Okay, support means Tata Motor will pay, let's suppose every year they are going to pay some amount like 2 crore, 4 crore, 5 crores. It depends upon the organizations and their sizes and all. So anyway, this discussion will be happening at higher level people, higher level management will discuss like how much amount they want uh, for supports and all. So this Tata Motor, let's suppose they have given this support activity to the Wipro technology. So what will happen? Wipro technology is going to hire a team of consultant. Let's suppose 20, 25 people or 30 people. There will be a team of 30 people. These people is totally dedicated to the Tata Motor itself. It means they will be sitting somewhere at central location. Let's suppose uh, in Vipro office itself in Hyderabad, Mumbai, Bangalore, anywhere. And from there they are going to give the support. If Tata Motor is having any issues, any error, then their employees are going to take the screenshot of these all things. They will send a mail to the uh, whatever the uh, respective consultant is there. They are going to write a mail and then these people will have a mutual, you know, coordination in the sense like consultant will look these errors and all and lots of things are there guys. This is the matter of like once we start the practical session there also it will be, there will be a discussion that will be uh, what to say explanations about this. So uh, support means what is, what is happening? We are going to receive the requirement from client side, client is Tata Moto and we have to we have to meet there, we have to perform, we have to resolve their errors, issues or whatever the requirement is there that we have to meet those requirements. So how it is happening? This is the part of these all activities are the part of support project. So support project comes into picture after implementations. Once the implementation happen, then only this support project or support will come into picture or even after rollout. Once the rollout is over, then this support will be coming into picture. So these are the four types of project guys, implementation, rollout, upgrade and support. These are the four kind of uh, projects are there in SAP and most likely uh, once you people get placement, when you guys are, once you guys are going to be a consultant, then 90 to 95 percent chances will be there that you guys are going to be part of support project because uh, number of support projects will be more compared to implementation or rollout. Okay. The number of support projects will be, uh, you know, much higher compared to implementation and rollout. So most likely you guys are going to be part of support project itself. So guys, uh, uh, this is all about the types of projects and uh, 
that's all in this session that's all in this session simply we have uh, covered this introduction part like what is this sap and uh, you know what is this erp uh, what you know total modules are there in sap's and uh, apart from this the most important topic is types of project which you guys should know which you guys should know these types of projects and all so that's all in this session guys that's all for today